Hi, I'm Sam and I'd like to explain you how to set the longline pulley system of selectivity. First thing you have to do is to take the static rope, connect it with this chain link and on the other side of the chain link you take one of the double pulleys and hang it in. This only has to be done once and afterwards it stays connected. Now put both double pulleys like this on the ground. Take the static rope and turn it around on the lower side of the double pulley. Same thing on the other side. Make the second round, go on the upper side this time. And also on the second double pulley, go on the upper side. And that's your basic pulley now. Here I have the rigging plate with the prepared centering tubes. So now I take the shackle, put it through the double pulley. And on the other side, I connect it with a rigging plate and I put the shackle through the centering tube. On the other side, I also take a shackle. I put it also through a double pulley. And here I take the slack duck and I close the shackle through this sling. Now I go to the tree and I put the tree protector on the desired height. You take the sling and you can fix it with the velcro so that it doesn't slide down anymore. Okay, now I fixed the rigging plate to the sling. I put the shackle through both slings and put the shackle through the other centering tube. So the basic pulley is hanging now and as you might imagine this is a bit short so to make a longer pulley I can simply pull, make the whole pulley longer. It depends a bit on the distance of the slack line you want to rig. If you want to rig a long line, then rather go long with the pulley. If it's only a short one, keep it short. Otherwise, this part is just hanging in the system and it's best to have it a bit close to the tree. Okay, now it's time to fix the brake, the eddy. To open the eddy, you push this button and now you take the rope coming from the double pulley and put it through here in this direction. So the climber symbol is going to the double pulley and the hand symbol is where you pull in the end. Now you close the eddy, you take one of the carabiners included in the set and you fix it on the lowest position of the rigging plate like this. On the other tree, I've already fixed this end sling of the slack line to the tree. Such an end sling has the advantage that it's a lot less weight. You simply have a shackle plus the sl tree sling and you can directly fix it like this around the tree. It has the disadvantage, however, that the braking load of the slack line goes down by about 20%. So if you want to go to huge tensions, better take two slack tucks instead of an end sling but if you go to normal tensions then you have a big advantage with this end sling. Okay now it's time to hang the line into the slack duck. I take the slack line coming from the tree, make a loop and put this one around the center diverter. Now I take the pin out, I put the pin again into the loop. It's gonna look like this in the end. So now I can pretension tension as hard as I can. And now I take the rope coming out from the eddy and I pull. The eddy blocks automatically as soon as there is enough force. When you do this, it's easiest to take the static rope going into the eddy and pull at the same time as pulling the other rope coming out from the eddy. This was the 5 to 1 pulley and as soon as I don't have enough force anymore to pull on this pulley, I just put a multiplier to make a 15 to 1 pulley out of the 5 to 1 pulley. To put the multiplier, I take the small grip, I open it and hang it into the rope going into the eddy. With the up sign 
showing away from the tree and I close it now I take the single pulley the line hang down from the eddy you hang it in here you close the single pulley you take the carabiner and you connect the single pulley with the small grip normally I wouldn't place this here but rather a bit more away from the tree but it's just simpler for you to see how the principle is so this is a 3 to 1 multiplier multiplying the 5 to 1 system and that's why it's going to be a 15 to 1 system in the end now I can simply pull the small grip in this direction and pull this rope I push here and pull the rope but it's not necessary to make always 20 centimeters at a time but you can really go bigger you put it close to the double pulley and now you can really pull the whole distance okay now I've already pre-tensioned a bit and now it's not nice anymore to hold the static rope in my hands so I take the big grip I close it and now I can pull with this one and this can easily be just readjusted pull again readjust pull again readjust it's just a not it's just a lot nicer to hold than to hold the static rope now before you start going on the line take out the multiplier and now the rope that comes out from the eddy just make a knot here just in case it slips through the eddy it can only slip to the knot and not any further you can make a simple knot it's just important that if it slides it doesn't slide through okay now it's ready now I can start going on the line and start having fun Okay, the session is already over, time to derig the line. And to derig, you normally can simply can pull the handle of the eddy. But if you went to high tension, then it's best to take the rope coming out of the eddy, put it around the tree to get some friction, and do that on height of the tree protector, not to damage anything of the tree. So here I hold with one hand, with the other hand I take the handle and slowly pull on this handle and you see like the rope is getting into the eddy and I slowly release also with the other hand and as soon as there is not too much tension anymore I just hold the rope here and I release like this try to always control this process if you don't, there is still a panic function. So if I pull too hard, this happens, it's not too bad. As soon as there is almost no tension anymore in the rope, there is this little button down here. You can take your thumb and push it to this side and pull out the rope with the other hand. For the next session it's going to be simpler, you can simply leave the rope in the pulleys, you don't have to rebuild the whole pulley again, just take everything together. Take care that there is no knot in the rope, that there is no, that it doesn't get too much entangled and then it's really simple for the next time to build it up again.